Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Hello. Hi. I need to put on my lipstick. I feel like this is a very bougie coat for no lipstick. <laughs> okay. Much better. Can't really give you any details on that, but it is what it is. I'm going to show you my outfit because I'm obsessed with this coat. Right. So... I was invited to the Primark reopening in Belfast. It closed, I think, three years ago? Oh shoot, I don't know how many years ago, but there was a fire and they've been refurbing it ever since. And so Olive and I went, she was my little guest to bring, and I beelined it to this coat. I've seen it online a couple of times from people I follow and they're like, it sells out every year, but they come out with it every year, size up and it is like the warmest thing ever. So I went with brown because I already have like beige coats and I'm obsessed. So if you're near Primark, go now. All right, I am gonna head out for a run here. This top I just bought in Primark. Got it in extra small so it was like compression fit. These glasses were sent by a Northern Irish North Coast, North Coast brand. I think it's called True North Life. North Coast Life. Anyways, I really like them. They're like a cherry red, but like translucent with like reflective lenses. And I feel like a cool, I feel like a figure skater. <laughs> Anyways, um, my little phone pack when I run, I keep a lip balm in here, especially when it's a little bit cooler out, but it's such a beautiful day. I'm so excited for this run. Um, this was TK Maxx. They always have them in like the checkout check aisle. And then these leggings are I think Gym Plus coffee and my shoes are Nike. Also, I always wear my Hey Harper jewelry running. Never take it off because it's sweat proof, waterproof, everything proof. So it doesn't bother me if I run with it. I don't feel it anyways. It's so lightweight. Um, same with the ring. I need to get my actual <laughs> ring sized. Hence me wearing this one for ages because my fingers got a little chunky after my babies and they've not gone down, <laughs> gone down in size. And I need to get my wedding ring resized so that it fits appropriately. Anyways, I'm gonna go for a run. Okay, I haven't filmed a tanning routine, hence the get up, in years. So I thought I would show you. I probably do a tan every two weeks because of this method. I don't get patchy areas, it comes off nicely. Couple things to know, I moisturize daily, that is key. I know people say, oh, moisturize to keep your tan longer and so that it fades nicer. That is a true fact. It definitely makes a massive difference. How I apply, however, I feel like is the reason why it lasts a little longer. Also, I never spray tan my face anymore or foam or mist, whatever you wanna call it, um, because I have oily skin, which means I have more pores than someone who has dry skin. So I just feel like spray tans, like spritz mists, if you will, just sit in my pores. So I prefer an overnight, like you could say a serum or a cream. I have one from Heishi and it's an overnight tanning balm. I've used it for years. I've mentioned it so many times on my channel. I love it and I tend to use it throughout the day. So I'll put it on in the morning and then I'll wash it off when I wash my face at night. So I'm not sleeping in anything. This is 2.30 in the afternoon, so I'm gonna put this on now and then I'll take a shower around like 10.30 before I go to bed, just a body shower to wash off all the tan and then go to bed. I tend not to sleep in my tan anymore and I feel like that makes a difference. Just some tips that work for me. So, moving on, I've already showered. I don't really exfoliate, I just make sure to take off any previous tan with like a mitt. I did that yesterday or two days ago. So my skin is fresh good to go also i put moisturizer on in those like drier areas so elbows the pits my knees my ankles hands wrists all that fun stuff i don't use a specific moisturizer i think i i used my molten brown one that i use on my everyday basis anyway so just use one that your skin likes this is the one i've been using i also love another one but there's no point in mentioning because the brand is finished they've stopped producing so no one can get it, so I don't think it's fair to even mention. <laughs> but this is the one I love. I bought it pre-summer. It's the Bear by Vogue Williams, and I got it in ultra dark, which sounds very intimidating, but it's not as bad <laughs> as you may think. It's beautiful. I do not use a tanning mitt. This is my little secret. It's not really a secret, because I feel like some people 
do it now, but not everyone. You need to use these gloves. This is where the magic happens because those mitts, they're all like foamy and so soft and luxurious feeling, but they literally swallow up 75% of the mousse that you put on. So first of all, you're wasting a whole bunch of product and I feel like you don't get the full finish of what an at-home foaming tan can do for you. Personal preference. Again, the light's coming in through the shutters, so if it starts to go liney, it is the light. You can get them online. I'm sure Amazon has them or even like your local pharmacy. You just wash them after too, so they're actually more hygienic, I think, because they literally wash instantly after application. So I'm just gonna put both on. It is almost done. I think I have like one application left, which is perfect timing. I'm gonna do two pumps and we're just gonna start to apply. So applying now with these gloves literally means every single bit that you use is actually going on your skin. Does that make sense? And it just makes the application so easy. You just like blend it in like a moisturizer. And I feel like because I've been doing it this way since about July, I get longer out of my tan and it fades a lot better because I feel like it's evenly distributed because of the no transfer onto the mitt. It's just literally right to your skin. You can see the difference already. We're gonna do another two pumps on the other side. <laughs> it's so intense initially, but the guide color always is a little bit darker, just so you know where you're putting the tan. Of course, if you're used to putting this kind of mousse on your face, go for it. It just has never worked for me. It just looks really blotchy, like I mentioned before, sits in my pores and even breaks me out. So I just steer clear of applying tan right onto my face. Not sure I'm in frame anymore, but we're gonna move on to stomach area. So I'm just gonna start with two pumps. I always just go with two pumps, I feel like it's just the easiest to go with. I'm gonna go everywhere. I don't really wear crop tops a lot, so I'm not too concerned about my stomach area, but I just like that it looks consistent. So I'll do this, my legs, and then I'll come back. Okay, now that the body is done, I always find with my feet, using those gloves and like a small pump, and just like really rubbing it in because I had just put on moisturizer prior to applying the tan, I never get like streaks or like really bad tan around my ankles. A little goes a long way. You don't need a lot of tan around your ankle and your foot. I'm out of breath because I had to get this. So my hands, I have not used that mousse tan on my hands. I tend to use a tanning mist. Intrapay Self Tan Purity. I used to use this on my face and I liked it. I just, again, I felt like it stuck in my pores a little bit and broke me out. So I use it for my hands. Mist it on. So that's it. Body, hands, and then the He She Overnight Tanning Balm for my face. Okay, top tips. Obviously exfoliate or really scrub your skin so that it's fresh, ready to go. Shave, moisturize, really moisturize every single day. Pre-tan, but continue to moisturize every single day. Night, morning, whatever it is, every day. Tan during the day. If you don't like getting your bed all dirty with tan, I always do mine in the morning really quickly. Once it has like 10, 15 minutes, I just put on like black clothes and it's fine. Like it's easier to wash out than a full bedding. So I don't mind that and it tends to dry and it doesn't transfer anyways. So it's just easier for me, personal preference, obviously. Then lastly, use those gloves, the surgical gloves. I just feel like it makes for a perfect application and I feel tanned, ready to go. Obviously, I'm gonna wash this off in about seven, eight hours. My face will be a little bit darker than two. So if I don't see you tonight because it won't be natural light, which will alter the look, I'll see you tomorrow, which is a busy day tomorrow. We're going to Dublin for an event, but I'll show you what I use for my event makeup on my legs to make them a little bit shinier and bronzier. So I'll see you in the morning. Okay, I still have my sports bra on, don't worry. I wanted to show you guys, I haven't worn fake lashes in maybe almost a year, maybe one time in between for like an event or something, but ever since using UK Lash for the last two years, I just, I don't know, I just load up the mascara and I feel like my lashes look 
crying and I'm not like an intense eye makeup wearer so I don't feel like I ever need them. However, I had seen a couple girls like do ads with a couple different brands but the one that I saw was the So Su Suzanne Jackson Hidden Agenda Under Lash Adhesive and you get three days wear out of it. I think this is what the pack looks like. There's like different lengths there. And then they're like individuals. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. You put the glue on, which is like a little mascara, and then you attach the lashes underneath. And like, look how natural they look. So you see nothing above, if I can shut my eyes. And it's just lashes on top for like three days. So I'm gonna test them. Today is Tuesday night, so it should last until Thursday, Friday, hoping, here's hoping. Okay, let's do the other eye. Good morning, everyone. I am kind of in a rush. I will show you my tan and everything later, but we are off to Belfast first. We have a meeting with our marketing team at 9.30, so I'm just gonna take it in Belfast with Kristen in a cafe, and then as soon as that meeting's over, we're on the road to Dublin. So it's me, Ashley, and Kristen going down. Hopefully it's not raining the whole time because <laughs> it's never fun going and like to an area that's like outside walking shops. Dublin and Belfast are mostly like that. There's no malls here. So hopefully it clears up because it is not a cute day at all. Makeup is pretty simple. Don't know if I like these lashes. They took off the inner corner ones and now they're like making weird things with my actual lashes. Kind of regret doing it, but I can't take them all off. So it is what it is. Let's go. We're here with Ashley. Yeah, all one word. And Kristen, about to have our meeting in established. And then we're off to Dublin in this awful weather. <laughs> Not completely sure where we left off, but I know it was <laughs> way before last night. We're staying at the Wren Urban Nest in Dublin. I think it's a year old, but with COVID and everything, I had never heard of it. Really cute, great if you're like wanting to stay in the city, like three minute walk from Grafton Street and just really cute aesthetic. The bed, floor to ceiling windows. The vibes are really, really cute. So we stayed here for the Sinead Curry event, the brand turned two. It's all like that satin and wrap style outfits that I would wear. We honestly had so much fun. I'll put in some pictures from the night, it was just really chill and it was downstairs, like we didn't have to leave the hotel. So it was just like super low key, enjoyed, great talks. And then went to bed and have been up since like 7.15. So we're just getting ready for breakfast now. We're gonna go down, have some coffee, breakfast, and then I think we're gonna go for maybe one more little dander around Dublin and then on the road back to the babies. We mentioned I did pick up this uh, jumper from Zara and I got it in an extra large so that it had like slouch and drop to it because it was quite a awkward looking size that your like usual size would be like the medium was just it just didn't do anything so I feel like I either wear it undersized or oversized one of those kind of styles these earrings I picked up in gold and silver they're from Primark and then the little clip in the back here is also from Primark and we're rocking easy going, real depth on my cheeks and my lips today. Where are we, Kristen? We're at Balfour, no? Nope. Balfs. <laughs> Balfs. And that's delicious. We had avocado toast and crepes. I think you guys picked better. But, most of her. Ashley's here. Doing the work. Doing the work. Doing the work. Working. Always that's working. <laughs> and I have a hair on my lip that I can't get off. Where are we gonna go now? Coffee. More coffee? Oh, I got it. <laughs> this wasn't strong enough. Yeah, that's <laughs> fine. Did you miss me? So my phone says. <laughs> he has the new iOS update and he's made his background. It's oh, I cannot. Says. That annoys me so much. It's a new update where you, every single time you see your phone, it's, it's phone a different says. photo. I was like, I wouldn't know what phone is mine. Oh, <laughs> I'd be like, oh, this isn't mine because that's not my background photo. Oh. 
Yeah, they're cute photos, but you can just look in, in your photos. Oh, okay. I see, I would just want to see that one all the time. Anyways, back from Dublin. I'm exhausted. That was a lot of driving. 24 hours in Dublin. Got lots of stuff done. It was so nice. Ooh, that's really exploded. Blue and exposed. And um, Patty made an apple pie. Money. Did you put money in it? What is it? Uh, open to interpretation. Let me see. Well, let's get people guessing what it is. Okay, you make the apple pie and I'll make the design next time. <laughs> I'm not really a massive apple pie. <laughs> You know that though. I love apple crumble. Well, guess what? I didn't make it for you. I'm being a little picky for someone who just had an apple pie made for himself. You love apple pie though, so you did make it for yourself. You, you can tell by my eyes, I'm ready to go to bed. We didn't fall asleep till like 1 a.m. And if you know me, I'm not a night person at all. I'm sleeping by 10.30. And I think I woke up my body clock at like 7, 7.15, so. That's not a full night's sleep for it's me. No, it's not a full night's sleep. So we're gonna have dinner and it's my night to relax. Patty plays football. I have a glass of wine and watch the new episode of The Kardashians. So it's a perfect evening. I'm so excited. Good morning. It is the most beautiful, crisp fall morning. It is Friday. Patty has just done drop off and he's coming to pick me up. Ooh, my nose contour looks a little intense. And then we're gonna go spend the day with Oscar. He, we have him on Fridays, no childcare, which is lovely because he's still so little, although he's going through a little bit of a sassy stage. I think we forget, even though they're like just over two years apart, the stages. And with Oscar, we just kind of group him in with Olive sometimes. So we're like, why is he being so dramatic? <laughs> We're like, oh yeah, maybe he is getting his molars. Forgot about that. Anyways, we are gonna go to like a little play area that's close to us. I'll show you my outfit. I feel very like North North Coast mum. This jumper I found at a thrift shop. It's very cozy and I like that it's like a structured neck. This is super old from like Yes Style, like four or five years ago. And then these jeans were sent to me from Dr. Denim. And these shoes are no longer on the site. Sorry. <laughs> I think you guys know though, I am not a buy something new and show you every week kind of person. I actually wear all my clothes over and over again and I love thrifting. So sorry if I don't link everything because they don't have links. But I hope you enjoy your day wherever you are. I'll tune in a little bit later, maybe when Oscar's down for a nap because we are going out for dinner tonight with friends. So I think I'll film like how I get ready. Stay tuned. Don't hate me. <laughs> Came back. We had a great day with Oscar. We met up with Patty's family and it was just a great, great Friday. Came back, went for a run. It was an amazing run because I went a different route and I had a good new podcast in. So I think I was like just distracted and I ran what I felt was really well. Then I came back and I was like, okay, I haven't like filmed like a makeup kind of get ready with me in forever on my Instagram. So it kind of turned into like a whole look. Like how 2000s is this hairstyle? It will be in the tutorial or reel. I'm really hoping it turned out because I didn't use my front facing cam camera. I turned it around and then like hoped for the best. So. <laughs> Hopefully it all worked out, but I just wanted to feel like really clean and fresh with my makeup And then I wanted my hair slicked back because it was on fourth day anyways I wasn't really gonna wear it down. Also, this is updating you on the tan like it is literally stunning Like I'm just obsessed with the results. There are never any like weird hand like streaks, like it's just effortless and beautiful. What I use on my legs is the Vita Liberata like blur. I use the shade Latte, not Latte Dark, just Latte. I'll link it down below. It like definitely smooths out any like, you know, veins or stuff like that. There's definitely a makeup e aspect to it, but it's the most beautiful tone. I like that it's not really orangey. It's a little bit more on the a neutral bronze, which is really pretty. So I use that on my legs. It's washed off now because I took a shower after my, after my run. I'm gonna get dressed. Again, I'll put it in the reel, but I'll show, show, I'll, I'll show, show you guys 
outfit whenever I'm all ready to go. Earrings are Hey Harper. I really like this little combo today. Like a little cutie twirly and then a blue Swarovski one. Really cute. Okay, um, it's been a bit of time, so hopefully this kind of brightens up a little bit. This little cardigan I bought in Dublin in Zara, and I'm obsessed with it. I really wanted it to be like oversized and cozy, so I sized up to a large, and it has a built-in like scarf, so it's very trendy for this season, but also like a staple in the sense where it's just a plain gray cardigan. This bodysuit is the Skims one. I got it in black. I think I got a small medium. And then these trousers I picked up in H&M, I think two weeks ago in the sale rack for like six pounds. Um, ugh, it's hard with trousers. There's so many different kinds of styles and types. This one is like, I don't know if you can really see, it's like a high-waisted zipper. A little bit of pleating, but just like really clean and not too wide-legged. I bought a pair from Karen Millen that were like 95 pounds, and they were like, whoom, like way too wide leg. These are still obviously wide, like nothing's hugging on my thigh, but it's like a narrow straight, if that makes sense. They're in a size UK 10, um, but again, I would suggest trying things on because... We all know by now, sizing shouldn't define you, your size, because I can be all over the place. And if you get your worth from a size, you're going to be let down. So that's my little food for thought today. My shoes are River Island. They're cute little silver ones that I think I got last year. So we're going to head down to Aura Tapas and Wine Bar in Belfast. I'm gonna forget to vlog anyway, so I'm just not gonna bring my camera. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Happy Saturday, everyone. I am just touching up my makeup. Patty is at a conference today with his friend Paul. So I've just had the kids and it literally is so beautiful out. Another perfect fall day. So we've had a nice morning. It is sunny. I have a little friend over here. And we're gonna go to a little like fall Mom. cafe market thing that's happening. We have to go wake up your brother. Do you wanna go wake up Oscar for me? I will maybe vlog next week. I feel like there's a couple of things happening. If not, let me know what kind of makeup look you wanna see in the comments down below because I will film a makeup tutorial or maybe a hair tutorial. Who knows? Let me know. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.